Hello from Gardening at Duenza in Ireland and this video is about the sweetest little cutie of them all, Erangus citrata. And here's my plant and isn't it just a complete and utter dote? Look at those little flowers and the spurs behind. Now this is a tiny little miniature. You can tell by the size of my hand there with it. It's small, but it's flowering size, which is always a surprise when the little ones, you know, pop out their flowers. Now this one isn't fully open yet. You can see by this bud, which hasn't, hasn't opened. And it has two pot spikes. Second one down here. However, I have sustained a bud blast here. Gosh, it's so difficult to point with my big, big fingers. Now, in truth, I can't take a lot of credit for the flowering of this one because when I bought it back in September from Schwerter, and I'm going to put a link to that video up above, it was already in spike. So all I've managed to do is not let the spikes blast. I suppose that's something in itself. I just adore the way the flower spikes droop down. Look at that. It's like a, a bridal bouquet or something. You can just imagine somebody holding this and it kind of, well, dripping down. It's just gorgeous. I have it nicely positioned on my windowsill in a, a little pot up above where it hangs down, but I can't really show you, show you that because the light isn't so good there today. The only disappointment for me is that I get absolutely no scent from the flowers. Now I've tried sniffing them at night because, um, well, this one is in the Angricum family, so perhaps I thought the, the scent would be there at night, but nothing, absolutely nothing. And it's supposed to be nicely scented. However, you know, this thing earns its keep on the windowsill for me without ever having to make any scent. Now as you can see this plant which I haven't repotted since I got it is potted with very large bark and the leaves or sorry the roots are very thread like so that was a surprise to me when I got it first. And information I seem to find on the internet indicates that you know this plant needs well frequent watering well more frequent than the once a week that I'm used to giving my plants but I decided I'd start off and try try it out by giving it a once a week watering because I can see exactly what's going on with the roots in there and um, I'd increase watering if they started to suffer. A couple of them there at the top are suffering slightly but they're you know they're out of the the medium so that's not so surprising anyway I've been watering this little beauty just once a week and it seems to do okay with that we'll have to see how it uh, progresses in the summer whether I can get away with that kind of thing or not but um, anyway it's a beauty isn't it it's just absolutely gorgeous so that was my video on Erangia citrata and my limited experience of growing it, but I do think it is such a real sweetie little beauty and I would highly recommend it to anyone. Thanks very much for watching and check back again for lots more videos about orchids and all kinds of planty stuff. Bye now.